So the first week of the regular season is now behind us. And with the new week comes the first three stars of the week for the first week of the NHL season. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. And let's take a look at these top three players. All right, so after the first week of the regular season comes the three stars of the week. Just a couple of honorable mentions, I think, for the you know this award. Uh, again, you can only limit it to three guys, but you think about how many guys are in the NHL. Um, some guys, you know, came pretty close, I think, and one of them being Brock Nelson, the Islanders. I think he had a very solid start for the Islanders. Said, you know, he hasn't put up a ton of numbers like some of these guys, but he's played very well. Uh, for the Carol, the Montreal Canadiens, I think Carey Price has been very good. His goal, per, his save percentage hasn't completely reflected that, but he's looked very solid in goal for the Canadians. And this is one that really kind of baffled me that he wasn't in here. But again, some of these guys played very well. It was difficult for this decision. But uh, Blake Wheeler, who already has four goals on the year, um, definitely interesting to see him not make it up there. But Again, the competition just played so well this week. Uh, Blake Wheeler kind of kind of fell off the rim on the end there. So uh, that was a couple of honorable mentions. Let me know who do you think should have been the three stars of the week. But the NHL has decided. And here we go. So number three, we have Austin Matthews of the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has five goals, five points in two games for the Maple Leafs. So in only two games... You know, he had that little bit of a thing in during the training camp. You know, he pulled his pants down or whatever. Um, you know, he's not a good leader. He gets captaincy taken away from him. He comes right out of the gates, and he puts up five goals just to shove it in everyone's face. Uh, I think that's great for Austin Matthews, showing he's a very solid player for this league. Not only the Toronto Maple Leafs, but the entire NHL that, you know, the young guys coming, the young guns coming into their own, uh, Austin Matthews being one of them. Uh, he had a hat trick and a two goal game. So that's how you get five goals in two games. You do what Austin Matthews did uh, hat trick and two goals in a game. Uh, number two, we have a guy that really kind of off the board. Uh, again, he's a very solid player. I'm not completely shocked, uh, but man, Anthony Mantha at number two of the Detroit Red Wings has just. Started the season off like I've I've never seen Anthony Mantha play this good. But he ended the season, remember, he did end the season very solid with the Detroit Red Wings as well. That's kind of why Jim Rutherford of the Penguins was checking him out uh, before the end of the season. Anthony Mantha has five goals and two assists. You do the math, that's seven points already for Anthony Mantha. A very good start. Uh, he had a four-goal game last night. Against the Dallas Stars, what a start to the year, man, for Anthony Mantha. And the Detroit Red Wings look pretty solid uh, starting the year. They're undefeated. They beat some good teams. They beat the Nashville Predators, and they beat the Dallas Stars. So two pretty solid Central Division teams. They go out on the road, and they take care of business. Uh, and then number one for the three stars of the week, Mika Zibanejad of the New York Rangers, four goals, Four assists, eight points in two games for Mika Zibanejad. He scores a hat trick against his former team, the Ottawa Senators, in Ottawa, just to add salt to the wound for the Ottawa Senators. If things have not come bad enough, uh, you have another guy just throw salt right in your face, right in your mouth, leave a bad taste for the Senators to start the year. Uh, but for Mika Zibanejad, unbelievable performance for him so far. He played well in the game against the Winnipeg Jets as well. He has looked very solid. And, you know, him, Artemi Panarin, have played unbelievably, uh, unbelievably well so far for the New York Rangers. That's going to be a very good top line in the NHL with Capo Caco. This is going to be a tough Rangers team to beat this year. And Mika Zibanejad leading the way. I think, you know, everybody expected him to be the captain of the Rangers. And once we found out that he would be given an A, it was kind of... Not really a slam on him, but I think when he heard that being reported um, and then to not get it, you know, it's a little bit of, you know, maybe they were thinking about it and they decided at the last minute not to, you know, kind of showing the Rangers, hey, you know, maybe I did deserve that captaincy. So 
nonetheless, uh, the Rangers and Mika Zibanejad are off and are running to start the year and very well deserving of the first star of the week. All three of these guys very well deserving. Um, not too much of a surprise. Again, like I said, Blake Wheeler, I think, would have been a contender if one of these guys did not start off so well. I think he was a fourth or fifth pick, uh, definitely. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Blake Wheeler got snubbed? Uh, you know, or if not, what do you think of this order? Do you think, you know, Mantha could have been one? You know, honestly, I think Zibanejad pretty clearly, you know, he has the most points. Uh, I mean, and just doing it against the Senators, like, it's just, it, it's a great story for Zibanejad to start the year. You know, not getting the captaincy when insiders were saying he was likely getting it. Um, great start for the Rangers and Zibanejad. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you like the order? Would you change it? And if, if you would put someone else in there, who would you put in? So thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. Check out our Instagram as well, at Hockey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.